Hello everyone, my name is Exotic Gaming and welcome back to another random game commentary. This is a game called Last War Apocalypse Strike. So I was messaged by a friend on Twitter a few days ago who told me about this game and he said it is a really, really good pixelated mobile shooter. I just downloaded it and we are going to be testing it out today. It has some pretty cool features about it. I opened up the settings just before recording this. There are different graphics settings. There's actually a 60 frames per second option, which is always a good thing. And then it looks like there are other things in this game, like vehicles you can drive amongst other things. So I think they have some pretty high hopes for this game and maybe it can become the new Pixel Gun 3D. So make sure to leave a like guys if you are excited for today's video and you want me to play other games like this in the future. And yeah, I actually wanted to do something a little bit different right at the beginning here because I can actually get some stuff other than what other people will have right at the very beginning. For $2.99, which really isn't that much, I am going to get they would recommend getting if you are a beginner. It's not that much, three bucks, that's like nothing. So I'm gonna just get that anyways and test that out and uh, see exactly what that gives us. We actually got some chests and stuff, which we, as we can see here, we have five rolling death chests and five joker chests. So let's go open them up. Let's go see what we got here. I'm very curious. And we can also see kind of what are the different weapons you can get in this game amongst other things. So we opened up one. We got some parts, it looks like, or maybe that's an upgrade for whatever gun that is. So that's interesting. You can get upgrades for guns. That is very good. I'm getting myself some XP. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. I hope it's not like a ranked system and then I level up like five levels right at the very beginning here. All right, so we got ourselves a different skin. That's always good. Great, fantastic. So we opened up some of those and now let's go open up the Joker chest. And then after that, we're going to go jump into a game. I really just wanted to go test out all of the different things about this game just to really show you guys. I don't know what that is, so we're just going to have to figure that out. Wow, okay, 1500 of whatever that is. I have absolutely no idea. It looks like other chests have different things, which is pretty cool. So we got ourselves a lot of weapon parts, and it looks like that is a better chest. So what I'm probably guessing is the Christmas chest is the best one. And hey, if you wanted to play this game, it might only be like a Christmas and around Christmas time type of special thing. So it might actually go away relatively soon. You might want to consider trying it out. So I just progressed to rank 13 out of hopefully not a very high amount. Um, all I'm hoping is I don't go up against a bunch of pros right now, so let's go jump into multiplayer, let's go join a server, and it looks like we can go into free-for-all with one other person right now. Now, not a lot of people play this game, but hopefully it's going to change after this video is made. Now, it's me versus Stinkstod. And here we go. This game, also from the friend who messaged me on Twitter, he said that this game literally just came out. So it's not like this game has been around for a while. It's not like Pixel Gun that's been around for like four years and has had four years of change and development. This game is run by a very small company. And it's, I mean, it's kind of like, as you guys remember, I did a video on a game called Crazy War not too long ago, which was a game for Android, and it's kind of like Battlefield plus Pixel Gun together. And that game had just recently come out. That game was very small in terms of its developers and its player base, and it had a lot of potential. And I guess that's probably the same here with this game, Last War Apocalypse Strikes. So hopefully, this guy is going to show himself. There he is. Oh boy. And it looks like there's an auto fire, which is very interesting. I didn't think it would have that, but it looks like, hey, this game has some auto fire. Hello, my friend. Look at you. Run away. You can't escape me. My God, I got my first kill. So that's the reload button. We're reloading right now. Nicely done. Let's go get some more kills here. Where is this guy going to respawn? That's the real question. Hopefully he doesn't die. Ah, there he is. He's somewhere. It's only a matter of time before we see him. I think he was just getting used to the controls, and he probably hasn't really played the other games yet, so he uh, he's probably a very big noob. And I guess that's good, because I am a very big noob myself, and um, I, I kind of have to get used to this game, honestly. Probably should have done some practice matches, but then again, I thought it might have actually been kind of cool if I did like a, a practice match myself. Beautiful! Look at this! Health is not a problem for me! Oh my god! This guy does not stand a chance against Exotic Gaming. That's all I got to say here. 
All right, so there's the quarantine. Let's go see what this guy is doing. Is he in the... Qu oh, there he is! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! He almost got me. Look at that. Look at that. There's blood on the body, and that's the dead body. That's something you don't see in other games. My God, the graphics is A+. Plus. All I gotta say is, it, it looks different, you know? Pixel Gun's got that really big Minecraft feel to it, and this one's different, you know? It's made using different textures, different types of blocks and stuff like that, and because of that, they have bigger chances of changing things up with this game. It doesn't have the limitations of what Minecraft has being super blocky. Like, if they wanted to, um, they can add other things like, and make it a little less blocky, but I guess that probably makes it... Kind of more of the pixelated shooter type of game where it has that. Oh boy, there's a guy. Oh, dude, chill. Grenade, blow him up. Woo! Okay, come on, go up, go up, go, 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 go. There's double, 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 double. Go for it. Get him. Yes, there we go. Oh my god, I only have 13 bullets left. This is where it's gonna get a little bit more action packed. Now that there's a second guy here, now we have to be a little bit more careful. Now we have to watch our back. And now we have to make sure that we do not screw things up. Throw the grenade. Blow him up. Oh, it's going to get him. Dude, I'm out of ammo. Can I switch to another gun? Can I get a melee kill? How do I get a melee kill? No. Okay, well, I guess I guess death was inevitable at that point. Grimlock decided to just be the cool kid that he was and decided to take me out when I had no bullets on my gun. That's imbecile. Oh, one hit marker, two hit marker, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful headshots for days. We just got plus 12 points. As you could see, when I bought that thing for just $3, I got like plus, I don't even know how much, like 2,000, 3,000 experience points. So it looks like you get uh, you get one kill, you get like 12 experience points. So that is interesting to know. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, it was so close. I want to get one grenade kill. Come on, game. You got to work with me here. We need to get one grenade kill, and then I'll be happy. We have 47 seconds remaining, and I don't know if it's going to jump me out of the match or not, but hopefully that's not the case. Dude, I can get this guy. I can kill him. I can kill him. I can kill him. Strafe. Beautifully done. I'm really low on health right now, and there are 34 seconds remaining. I got to get at least one. One little grenade kill. The round ends soon. I got that game. I understand. Health kit. And here's another thing to note that I just noticed. It looks like the health slowly refills over time, which is actually really good. I'm very happy that they have that. That makes this game different from the other ones, and that's always, that is always a plus. Uh-oh. 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 Is this a grenade? No, it's health. 11 seconds remaining. Dude, how do I jump? I don't know the jump button, actually. Wow. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Maybe there isn't a jump button. Maybe you just have to just go like this. One second remaining. Oh, man. I am the best player. Of course I am. My god, was that even a was that even a chance? No. No, there was no chance that I could have not been. 8 kills, 1 death on my very first match ever and it looks like yeah, you have to leave to go to a different one. So it's that's kind of the one downside I guess so far that I've noticed. I really wish there was a way you could just continue on in that other match, but let's go join a server. There are two people in a different map, sewerage. It's the sewers, guys. We're fighting in the sewers of New York City, and I really want to test out the other weapons to see what they have. What would be cool is if you had to stay on the, uh, like, this area right here, and then over here, it, like, slowly started killing you because it's like a sewer filled with radiation poisoning and just bad stuff like that. Oh, he had a shotgun. Okay, I have to watch out for Flothis. Flothis is level 45, and I'm just chilling at level 10 when I really should be level 1. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a lot of failure, probably. Hey, Flothis, Flothis, chill, 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 chill. Level one noob kills the bro, god dang it. Throwback to that video I did on Pixel Strike 3D. Level one noob kills pro, I got this, guys. Don't you worry, I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? Flothis isn't that cute. Did I blow him up? Uh-oh, uh-oh, grenade battle, god dang it. I want another gun. I need another gun, man. I wonder if I uh, if I leave, if I quit, and I, I... No, 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 no. Go quit. Go quit. I wonder if those upgrade parts I have to manually put on my weapon. I'm going to go to my loadouts, and yeah, look at that. So it looks like, okay, so we can test out the Gale. We can test out the Glaw. We can test out the Singo. We have to be level 14 to get that one, so I'm going to go test... Nah, I'm going to just... I'm going to just buy it. Because I'm going to eventually get these weapons anyways, so I might get myself a shotgun. And then later on, I'm probably going to end up getting the sniper rifle and then maybe doing that for a video. So, do I have to unequip this? 
Okay, and then we have to go back and equip this one now. Beautifully done! And let's go play. Let's go join server. Let's go back into sewerage. And Flothis is not even gonna see it coming. Flothis is about to get something coming towards him. Holy moly! One shot! Oh, man! Look at that. It actually does half damage to that guy. That's pretty powerful, okay? One more headshot to that guy, and he about to die. There's one! There's two! One more! Woo! There we go! We got the kill! Nicely done! Then there's this guy right here. Did I just get him? Uh-oh, I just blew myself up. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is not a smart thing to do. Uh, rip exotic gaming. Oh, Flothis! I must kill the level 45! Dang it! I have yet to kill Flothis. That is our one mission in this video. We must kill Flothis. I don't even know if Flothis is watching this right now, but dude, if you're watching this, you're becoming too OP, okay? How did you just revive your health just then? I got one headshot on him, and then it just, it just didn't even matter. His health just went back to normal. Grenade kill! Go for the grenade kill! Oh, did he just blow himself up? Oh no, that's not, that's not his body. For a second, I thought that was his body. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Holy moly, this is so hard. Flothis, please, accept death, okay? This is, this is not an option. Look at all my bodies. You can just see all of my bodies right now. That was not how I throw a grenade. Sorry, you didn't see that. That is not how you throw a grenade in this game, okay? Come on! One more! God dang it! I need to get him fast. He's low on health, as you can see. Look at this. He's really low. We can get him. We can get him. Dude, why is your health so fast back up again? It's impossible. I will never be able to kill him. I will never be able- I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm never going to be able to kill him. This is- it's just not an option. No, but I can't. I can't. I must kill him one time. One time. That's it. Okay? Please come in. Wow, you noob! You absolute failure! One more! One more! God dang it! I can't do it! I can't do it! This shotgun just needs to fire faster. That's literally all it needs to do. And then I can take him out. Come on! One headshot! Escape! Dude, you're- you're- you're too OP. You're too OP, dude. Okay. How do you have, like, perfect- perfect aim? God dang it! I almost got him! Oh my god, this is so hard. I just need to get one kill. I just need to get one kill. I'll say this is a successful video if I can do that. Escape. Escape. You suck. You're, you can't escape. Okay, it's just not gonna happen. I give up. We're leaving. We are leaving. Nope. Quit. Quit. We're done. I'm leaving. That's just impossible, okay? Alright. That's the one other thing it seems like is a slight problem in this game. Since there are so little people, it looks like the really high-level players that have a ridiculously powerful weapon like this... He has the Merdisto, that's a level 23 weapon, it is much more powerful as you can see, 28 damage versus mine with, uh, well that one has 45 damage, but I'm sure if I was to buy this weapon, it would have much higher damage when that guy has it. He's gonna have it probably super upgraded all the way up to the max, and, and likely he probably has like an 80 damage weapon versus my only level 45 damage weapon, so... I mean, like, look at this. Level 8, I mean, 8 damage weapon versus that guy's 45. Not really gonna be able to beat it. So, I mean, in the end, it's not really the end of the world. But I do think that's something that they should do in this game. Make it so somebody like Flothis there is not going to end up always beating me just because he has such a much more powerful weapon than me. I'm gonna see if I can actually go back in. No, there's nothing available right now. So it doesn't really look like there's even an option to try to go back and try to take Flothis out one more time. But so, I mean, basically so far from what I've seen, it looks like it is a very, very fun game. If more people played this game, this game can become very, very addicting, and it looks very, very intense. It has a lot of potential, and it could potentially be the next Pixel Gun 3D. So, I'm happy that I found out about this game, I'm happy that I did a video on it, and I hope you guys are going to check this game out yourself. It's free on the App Store, and I would assume the Google Play Store as well. So check it out! Last War, Apocalypse Strikes, it's a really, really fun game. So, make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it a lot if you do. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next episode.